Hello, everyone. My name is Kira Woodland, and I am currently a fourth year undergraduate student in the Global Health and Political Science Departments here at UCSD. I will also be attending law school in this fall at the University of Maryland with a plan to focus on public health law and healthcare accessibility. I am primarily interested in the intersection of population health and policy, and specifically have chosen to focus my research from my thesis on LGBTQ youth mental health and the accessibility of psychotherapy to them. As a non-binary bisexual individu individual myself who has struggled with my mental health, I have reflected on my own experiences in therapy and how my identity has contributed to as well as complicated my experience with receiving the care that I need. There is a plethora of data on the heightened disparities facing LGBTQ youth in the US in regards to adverse mental health outcomes and risk factors. From being four times as likely to attempt suicide to an increased likelihood of experiencing child abuse and family rejection when compared to their cisgender and heterosexual peers, there are clear indicators for why LGBTQ youth need to be centered in global mental health research. Yet, very little research looks into the actual care that is provided to LGBTQ youth that are struggling with their mental health. Specifically, there is a serious lack of information on psychotherapy interventions tailored for LGBTQ youth and their unique circumstances, which can and do contribute to their mental health challenges and seeking treatment. This may make sense to some. LGBTQ youth make up a relatively small percentage of the total population, and even cisgender heterosexual people have difficulties with their mental health and access to quality providers. But with disparities as staggering as this, it is clear that pointed attention is necessary and that this group shouldn't be overlooked solely because they are only a segment of the population. By looking at research across multiple databases in an unsystematic literature review, I have been evaluating the efficacy of existing psychotherapeutic interventions for LGBTQ youth in the United States. My findings have indicated that across research and psychotherapy alike, LGBTQ youth feedback and opinions on their experiences need to be incorporated into these approaches and taken seriously. Other populations within psychotherapy research have seen the benefits of personalized care, with providers and researchers focusing on treating the person, not the condition. These benefits would not be realized without the input of patients, which can only be acquired in detail if they can converse with their providers or have their feedback analyzed, at least in part, by qualitative research methods. Solving significant mental health outcomes and risk factor disparities is not a one and done task. This is a multi-level, multidisciplinary problem that will require efforts from one-on-one -on -one interactions all the way up to federal legislation and policies. That can seem daunting, but it is important to know that many parts make up the whole. Looking to where the global mental health community plays a role will make the best of what we can contribute to solving this problem. In order to provide personalized quality care that takes LGBTQ youth status into account while still working with participants on an individual level, more qualitative methodologies need to be utilized in research and more psychotherapy providers need to open a dialogue with their LGBTQ youth patients so that their feedback may shape and improve future research and interventions. Thank you.